hello guys good morning good afternoon and good evening depends where you are listening from this is news across nigeria it's our 25th day of february 2020 my time here is 1 34 in the afternoon so still talking about the 2023 presidency balarabi musa a former governor of all Kaduna state to, on tuesday that is today has supported the comment made by uh El Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, that the southern part of Nigeria should be allowed to produce the country's next president. So, uh, Musa is um, he's an elder statesman from the north, okay, um, said the next president of Nigeria should come from the southeast. Well, um, I really don't know what to say, okay, when I, I gave you that um, story as at yesterday, when El Rufai said he suggests after 2023 the presidency should move all the way uh, from the north okay the north should hands off uh, power in 2023 the Kaduna state governor maintained that the southern part of the country should produce the country's next president in the interest of fairness that was what um, El Rufai said and also Musa here the elder statesman is also backing El Rufai he stressed that in the interest of justice, peace, and equity, the presidency should go to the south. Okay, so uh, that is the update I have for you uh, today. Well, I, I really don't know, but uh, the PDP National Publicity Secretary, Kola, described El Rufai's statement as political. Well, I believe for me, before issues um, like this could come up, about handing over uh, the presidency to the south i believe um it could have been discussed within the caucus because El Rufai first came up with the statement with the suggestion and also uh balarabi musa here he is also a former governor of o kaduna state and also an elder statesman from the north is also backing El Rufai's statement that the presidency should leave the north uh, for the interest of fairness, equity, and justice to the south. So, um, Musa here is supporting the southeast, and um, we all know that um, Tinibu's issue was also uh, discussed. All right, that uh, Buhari is not going to support Tinibu because even if they had MOU after 2023, that is going to hand over to Tinibu that uh, since it will be a direct primary, that Buhari will not tell everybody to vote for Tinibu. But meanwhile, let's uh, see what will happen. Just like what Kola said here, the National Publicity Secretary of PDP, that uh, El Rufai's statement is a political statement, okay, that at the right time, the opposition party, APC, would unveil its approach to the 2023 election according to Kola, he said el rufai is operating within a political climate and he's at liberty to make political statements and as far as pdp is concerned at the appropriate time the party will decide its approach to use at the 2023 election so that was what Kola said the national publicity secretary uh, to pdp so what do you guys think about this um, it, it's gonna be a good development Remember, after the 2019 election, and um, when this uh, 2023 election was being discussed as at last year, they not said they were not ready to hand over power, okay, uh, to the South, that they are going to continue uh, the terms of, uh, I think, President Yaradua, okay? Uh, you know, it was not time. They were not ready. That was what I, uh, from those statements, they were not ready to hand over power but jonathan uh, came in to sit i think by chance well we all know it was by chance because uh, naturally uh, it, it would have, it wouldn't have been possible if it could have been true election all right here's the second uh, northern elder state man uh, that is supporting the power shift in 2023 okay to the south and he's also uh, suggesting the southeast 
so um, i believe the Igbo now will be happy but looking at it you know Igbo is always um you know they are always uh, against this marginalization that's what uh, they believe especially uh, when they feel that biafra is the last option all right if you ask um three out of ten Igbo what they need i'm talking about those ones politically inclined or apart from those uh, greedy politicians in Igbo land okay they would tell you they need biafra so looking at it personally this is my own opinion and my own perspective um you have the right to put in your own contribution on the comment section below this is my own point of view if you look at this squarely me what i am saying the Igbo sorry let me not uh put in the Igbo the south is looking at it politically i don't see the south is as being ready to handle that position i'm talking about um even if the president should come to the southeast or should go to the southeast we are looking at um uh, people uh to produce i don't know if you have anybody you you think could make the southeast proud if eventually they are giving the presidency you can put it down in the comment section below unlike the southwest okay the southwest uh they have people like people we know like to see banjo okay i'm not gonna mention tinubu here all right uh see banjo is there if you are talking about uh the southwest or uh, uh, someone like um fashola is there still in southwest but if you are coming down to southeast if eventually uh the presidency will be given to the southeast i'm trying to look at uh the person available okay uh, so if you know anybody from the south is that you think eventually uh i'm not gonna mention rochas okorocha believe me okay but if you see uh, rochas okorocha uh, in the mirror you can also uh, contribute on the comment section below so looking squarely at the south is for me remember i said for me i don't really see uh the south is as being ready to handle this uh, presidency all right guys so that is um let me stop there for today just wanted to give you the story that another not st northern statement elder statement from the north is also supporting the power shift after 2023 to the south and he specifically um giving it to the south east all right guys uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time of watching any of our video if you have been watching it's part of your effort to support us to keep doing what we are doing it is actually free and don't forget for those of you that want to start a youtube training just like this how to create videos on youtube okay videos like this how to make money after uh, creating uploading videos general youtube training okay if you are ready to take the training you can contact me through the email address on your screen or the website you're seeing on your screen okay on how to get that training course you may not uh, have access to a computer you are using your phone you can use your phone your android phone uh, make videos and upload it on youtube so the training is available step by step even from as a beginner how to open a youtube channel how to set up your youtube channel how to upload videos and so on it's a um, it's a complete course youtube training okay or uh, that is targeting on how to create videos with your mobile phone so if you are interested on that uh, course uh, you can reach me through the email address on your screen okay and then um, or the website uh, on your screen then you see how or uh, you get how to you know purchase the course and the good news is uh, for people that they uh, undertook this course that took this course last year uh, most of them they are now youtubers uh, a lot of them they are making money already on youtube i'm doing 70 percent off for 20 people after then uh, the original price will come up so you have to hurry and um take the course all right guys um see you on another video and don't forget to subscribe